Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics with another session in the Build a Bedini Motor series. And today we're going to talk about magnets. Alright, what we're going to do now, because the Bedini Motor is also known as a North Pole Magnet Motor, all the North poles are pointing out on the wheel. So all the north sides of all the magnets are facing outwards along the circumference of the wheel. To identify the north pole of a magnet, the easiest way to do it is to use a compass. Now, I'm going to zoom in over the top of this compass, and I don't know how well this is going to show, but let me move my camera here. Okay, now they say opposites attract. Alright, so remember that when dealing with a magnet, okay? So you would think on a compass that the north indicator would face the north pole of a magnet, but that's not true. Just remember, when checking a magnet, i got to move these further away, look, they're affecting my compass. Just remember when checking a magnet with a compass, that opposites attract, okay? Now we're pointing more towards the real north and west. Here's the nor or north and south. I, f I can see this clearly. I think this is north on the compass and this is south. Let me get another light in here in the action. Because it's a very... Oh no, it's still pointing. It's still off. My compass is still influenced by all the magnets in this building. So forget where the compass is pointing right now. It's very, very influenced. The north is an arrow on the compass and sorry that's blinding me even further and the south is a uh, as an S alright let's just pay attention to that and remember that alright let me hang my light here on a tripod now very simply remember opposites attract so to identify the north pole of a magnet let's take a random unknown magnet here off the stack here is a random unmarked magnet brand new out of the package all right to identify the north pole of the magnet we slowly bring the magnet let me adjust my tripod to give us some more direction here because it's gonna it, it's gonna happen from a relatively far distance we want the south pole to be attracted to the north pole so we will see when we move this, okay, the south is attracted to this side of this magnet. Let's make sure the compass is working properly. Take the magnet far away. Let it reset itself. There's so many magnets in this room. It's a highly magnetic place. Okay, now I'm going to bring the other side over and it should attract to the north of the compass. Yes, it does. Let me see. Boy, the poor thing is really, really trashed in here. So this side is attracted to the north, so it's the south side. Turn it around, and the south side of the compass is attracted to this side of the magnet. So I'm going to put a north, an N on there, a big fat N, to indicate that that is the north pole of this magnet. All right? And then we just carry on. Let's grab another magnet off the stack. And this is a very, very simple uh, test. Bring this over here, and we've got the south side again. Flip it over. The north faces that side. So the south faces this side. So this is the north pole of the magnet. Opposites attract. All right, so that's the north. I need a brighter dollar store. Well, you know what? Just marking it. <laughs> dollar store markers are not good or useful for much of anything. Okay? Now, once you get a couple magnets identified, it's very easy. Take your stack of magnets, bring them over into the camera view, and figure out which side is attracted. Okay? And now you have them all lined up, so you don't even have to test more than one magnet. Now you've got them all lined up. Oh, here's another stray. Put them in there. North 
facing this way. So now you can go and label every single one of your magnets with the north on this side and these will all be the south poles. And that is one of the simplest things you can do in building the Bedini motor, identifying your north pole of your magnets. So there you go guys, a very simple thing. The next step in building the Bedini motor. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to my channel and follow along as we build a Bedini motor from start to finish. And a Bedini motor has the ability to restore old lead acid batteries and potentially power your house. But let's not get there yet. That's getting ahead of ourselves. Alright, thanks guys. Please do like and share and tell your friends about it. Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics. See you later. Stay tuned for the next video in the series of building a Bedini motor.